How's it going? I'm Mike Stewart, and we're at Sandy Beach on Oahu's East Shore. Yeah, well, this is kind of where it all started for a lot of the sport. I had my first contest right at this break right here. Uh, it was the first bodyboarding contest, and this used to be where all the top guys would come to and, and uh, hang out and surf. So it was a real melting pot of modern bodyboarding. You know, all the latest moves were being done here. Guys were pushing things here. I want to say Pat did some of the first rolls here. Um, you know, there's a lot of history to this spot. You know, some of those early day contests were pretty full on, and and uh, yeah. It's, so this is kind of kind of the birthplace of progressive bodyboarding, I'd say, yeah, for sure in Hawaii. Yeah, so uh, the guys that would surf this place consistently were like Jack Lindholm, J.P. Patterson, Ben Severson, Pat Caldwell. Uh, on the cage, you see Keith Sasaki, Kevin Okamura, like all the, the kind of the founding fathers of of, uh, of the sport. You know, they were all all come here. Uh, when I first came here, I came. Uh, I had to fly over from another island, and it was, uh, you know, I'd been surfing on the big island a lot, but mostly by myself. And then coming here, it was like, oh wow, this, this is kind of like a really cool scene where there's other other guys as into it as I was, and guys pushing it, and it was just like a real um, so much energy, you know. For me, it was like uh, really uplifting. Well, you still got really good riders coming out of here. Uh, it's just now uh, there's good riders in so many places. So at the beginning of the sport, it wasn't as prolific as it is now, and uh, so there wasn't it wasn't quite the the same. Um, um, it's just not it's just not the same it's a different world we live in now but uh, there's still a lot of uh, action that happens here and um, a lot of good body is coming up from over here well they added the parking lot um, you know they've uh, I think they come and they bulldoze. So there's been some differences in the, in the sand itself. It seems like there used to be more sandbars, but uh, it's still really good. I mean, it can get really good. It just needs the right swells uh, in, in the right succession so that it's sandbar shape and then the east swells come in and you know, it's good fun. The show break here is probably, I think it's got the record for the highest incidence of neck and back injuries in the country. So you, you just pull up your car and it looks nice and calm, but you go out there and it starts coming in if it's got any size or there's any sets it's uh it's right on the sand and can be pretty uh devastating for someone that doesn't really understand the ocean too well